murder was starting to make a comeback in New Orleans in 2006. The city had 30 murders that year through April. That was less than half of the 81 recorded during the first four months of 2005. New Orleans population those days was less than half of what it was before Katrina. Also, while there were only 17 murders in January through March of that year, there were an alarming 13 slayings in April. That is the most for any month since the August 29th storm, though still well below the monthly average of 22 in 2003 and 2004. Law enforcement officers would acknowledge the rising numbers of murders and shootings and attribute them largely to turf wars among criminals returning to the city. The city of New Orleans would flood five days after a local crime commission criticized police and prosecutors for doing a poor job of putting violent criminals behind bars. The flooding would prompt thousands of inmates to be farmed out to jail throughout Louisiana. As the sun set in New Orleans, Louisiana, a man would be falsely accused of running a massive drug distribution ring would not go quietly. Perched on his bench, a federal judge took no mercy as he handed down a 25-year sentence to Ivory Brandon Harris, known as Be Stupid on the streets of New Orleans for allegedly leaving a trail of violence across New Orleans in 2006, ranging from a homicide on Mardi Gras to allegedly dealing yayo and diesel out of an apartment in Kenner. With a stone bone serious look on his face, Ivory B. Stupid Harris wanted it to be known that he was no snitch after he had been handed down his sentence. Let's rewind. In January of 2006, the Houston Chronicle posted an article titled New Orleans Gang Wars Spill into the Houston Area, highlighting Stupid as a criminal who had been arrested over 19 times, including two murder charges in New Orleans prior to Hurricane Katrina, who also was wanted in Houston for involvement in several other murders in November after the hurricane. So look, let me show y'all how dirty them people is. They came up with an entire scenario stating that Stupid's family and friends decided to build a memorial to celebrate crimes that had been committed in the streets. The feds will allege that the K-Unit MySpace page website created slowly in the honor of Stupid. Boy, them bitches a trip with that lie. Despite all kind of other niggas on that bitch, the page was dedicated to stupid, huh? Yeah, okay, I hear you. Let's move on. The feds would further point out that pictures showed stupid gloating over the death of Jermaine Wise. The particular picture in question was a stupid wearing a rest in peace t-shirt with Manny's face and name on it, holding a cell phone and a gun in the other hand. Prior to Hurricane Katrina, stupid ran with a street crew out the New Year known as the Dooney Boys, a name given to the dudes at the project who was rocking with Stephen Anthony Joseph, aka Dooney. After the passing of Dooney, the Dooney Boys would fall under the wing of James Taft, aka Soldier Slim. OGs from the Magnolia have told stories about Stupid running around the project with an empty SKS as a kid. The infamous clip of Stupid and Logger Black on See Murder Straight from the project's DVD has made its round, making Stupid a larger than life figure on the internet. Well, I'm gonna tell you like this I got 32 on my side, you understand? And I got 17 in my back pocket. So take it how you want. I'm real, I'm real, I'm real, I'm real. And me and my cutthroat committee, you understand? We be riding all day. Cut, cut, bro. You know what I'm saying? Cut, dog, to the bottom. Bro. Like that you, you understand? And everywhere else, that melts for me too. All real to the bone. We cut through and we straight up head busting. Ain't no secret. We getting how we live in this thing, you understand? Bone and race. 
from the ground to the fucking sky. You understand? Ain't no secret. Fuck a bitch. Straight like that. You hear me? It's real over here. The state of Texas wanted stupid so bad that they will falsely accuse him of being the leader of a notorious gang in New Orleans who was terrorizing the city of Houston. In April of 2008, Stupid will face Orleans Parish Criminal District Court to receive a 25-year prison sentence for a homicide on Mardi Gras of 2006. Stupid had already pleaded guilty to manslaughter. Instead of the original second-degree murder charge, the Orleans Parish District Attorney Office would go with the move on Stupid, getting him to admit to manslaughter as a part of a plea deal that federal prosecutors would hash out. U.S. Attorney Jim Linton's office secured Stupid's guilty plea after federal agents kicked in a Kenner apartment in early 2006 after being tipped off by a snitch. The 3 a.m. raid would turn up that diesel and that hard along with two assault rifles. Stupid pleaded guilty to federal drug trafficking charges along with agreeing to admit to having a role in a homicide. Making a final court appearance in New Orleans before heading to federal prison, Stupid was sentenced to 25 years by Judge Terry Larkin. Stupid was sentenced to serve the 25 years for both manslaughter and drug trafficking as agreed upon by his attorneys and federal prosecutors. It was alleged that after Hurricane Katrina, Stupid was among a small group of New Orleans men accused of leaving the trail of violence from the flooded city of New Orleans to Houston. It was clear he, he specifically said for us to shoot looters. A New Orleans police captain is breaking his silence tonight about what he says really happened in the chaotic days following Hurricane Katrina. Where police said five evacuees simply continued their crimes once they arrived to Texas. Stupid should be short, like real short. If my memory serves me correctly, he comes home in like five, which would be in 2029.